Did you know that in Unpacking Simulator Unpacking, if you rotate the toy model, eventually this will happen. Hello and welcome to Hidden Video Game Details, the series that aims to show you things that you may not have known about your favourite games so that you can look really clever in front of your weird Uncle Ted. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and if you do, I'll send you my credit card. Anyway, without further delay, let's get started. Right, let's begin with the excellent Hitman Blood Money. Now, Hitman Blood Money is known for its great easter eggs, but it's time to highlight a detail that shows that 47 isn't the ruthless killer that many of you may think he is. During the Murder of the Crows level, if you make your way to the Fever nightclub and wait on the dance floor, 47 will do this. So it seems that even genetically engineered assassins need a little downtime now and again, and it definitely looks like 47 has picked up some pretty nifty moves on his travels. Next up is super realistic SWAT simulator Ready or Not. Now we have covered Ready or Not in this series before, with my personal favourite detail being the realistic fish tank physics that saw water drain from the tank when shot. The thing is, this next detail is cool, and one that I haven't seen in any other game before, but I'm not sure it's very realistic. On any of the levels with cars, if you shoot the steering wheel, this will happen. So like I said, I'm not sure this is how airbags work. I may be wrong, but I'm thinking that shooting at the airbag would pierce it, meaning that it wouldn't inflate. Regardless of the accuracy of the detail, it is still pretty cool. Up next is a game that I expect to be a regular in this series. Multiverses finally released in August of this year, and with it came a whole bunch of characters from a whole bunch of different TV shows, movies, comics, and just about everything in between. One of those characters is Batman, who is not only a playable character in Multiverses, but also gets his own stage in the form of the Batcave. Now, the Batcave is supposed to be Batman's secret lair, the key word here being secret. Well, it seems that Batman is aware of the flaws in his security, as when playing as the Dark Knight on the Batcave map, he will say this. How do you all keep finding your way in here? Like I said, I assume that this is the first of many cool examples of character-specific dialogue in multiverses, and if you know of any more examples, please let me know. Now, if there's one thing that I've learnt since doing this whole YouTube thing, it's that I can never know all there is to know about a game. Take Resident Evil 4 for example. I've played that game a ton since its release in 2005 and completed it more times than I care to remember. But I've since learnt that there is something that I didn't know. The Separate Ways campaign is unlocked after completing Resident Evil 4 and sees you playing as Ada Wong as she goes through the events of the main game. This means that you'll occasionally catch glimpses of Leon in situations that you've played through during his story. It's pretty cool. Now, during the events of Leon's campaign, he loses his iconic leather jacket, with its whereabouts never fully being explained. Well, during the Separate Ways campaign, you can finally find out what happened to Leon's jacket. So it seems that even Ganados like to keep up with the latest fashion trends, as one of them can be seen wearing the jacket in the village. Like I said, years of playing Resident Evil 4 and I never knew this. Now this next detail comes in the form of a cheat code, but it's not any old cheat code. Ion Fury is the spiritual successor to games like Duke Nukem and Shadow Warrior, which means moving at breakneck speeds while gunning down enemies. That's pretty much it. There's no co-op or multiplayer here. It's just you, your guns, and a level full of enemies. Now, have you ever asked yourself, do video game characters get lonely? Like I said, it's just your character and a load of enemies who want her dead. Well, if that's the case and she does start to feel a little lonely, you can enter a cheat that will hopefully solve her loneliness. <laughs> So 
So entering the I'm Lonely Chi will spawn a chair to keep your character company. Why? Well, I'm not entirely sure why, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Right, let's end today's video with Batman Arkham Knight. It's now gotten to the point where I have shared so many Arkham Knight details, and that's not even counting the details I've recorded that haven't made it into videos yet, that it's probably wise to make an entire video on the game. Still, there are a couple of details that I wanted to share from Arkham Knight in today's video. Think of it as a last hurrah. The first detail that I wanted to share can be found in the Gotham City Morgue. All the way back in episode 11 of this series, we found that the waitress from the beginning of the game could be found in the morgue. Well, what I didn't notice is that the man who reported the smoking in the diner can also be found here too. So this next detail is a bit of a spoiler, so if you haven't played Arkham Knight and plan on doing so, it's best to stop watching now. So around halfway through the game, Batman witnesses what he believes to be Barbara Gordon killing herself on account of Scarecrow's fear toxin. It's later revealed that this didn't happen and was the result of Batman's own exposure to the toxin. The thing is, there is a really easy way to tell that all is not as it seems. During the scene where Oracle is behind the glass, the gun she uses to shoot herself is on the table behind her. An hallucination of the Joker then appears and nudges the gun towards Barbara. And that's how you know this isn't real. If the Joker himself isn't real, then how is he able to move the gun closer to Barbara? It's very subtle, but it's a great way to let observant players know everything isn't as it seems. The final Arkham Knight detail is actually kind of sad. When Batman learns that Robin has been kidnapped, this will happen. Ah, well, just you and me now, eh, kiddo? The real dynamic duo. Ha! There, there, try those eyes. So Joker tells Batman to dry his eyes. And if you take a closer look, you can see that Batman is indeed crying. For example, here are his eyes after finding out Robin is gone. And here are his eyes normally. It's a great way to show the strain the night's events are taking on Batman, without making Batman a blubbering mess. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. If you are a fan of Easter egg secrets and hidden details in video games, then perhaps consider subscribing as that's what this channel is all about. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll speak to you all soon.